Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Flash separation for two, vapor speed calculations, typical applications and types of flash separators. In this video course, you will learn how do you calculate the vapor split and work example to illustrate the method, factors affecting flash separation, typical applications in chemical industries and types of flash vessels. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Having understood the flash separation concept as explained in part 1 of the subject, the part 2 of this video starts with calculations involved in the vapor split in multi-component flash separation process. The understanding is important for chemical and process engineers because industries like oil and gas processing, petroleum refining and petrochemical manufacturing make use of flash separation in their processes. Vapor split calculation In flash separation process, the main objective is to achieve a specified vapor split. That is, to get a fraction of the feed as vapor at the flash pressure and temperature. The vapor split is also referred to as VF ratio. One of the ways to calculate the vapor split or VF ratio is to use Record Rice Equation The Record Rice Equation is obtained from overall mass balance and component mass balance and equilibrium value or key factor and is expressed as follows. Sigma I 1 to N Z I times K A minus 1 divided by 1 plus V by F times K A plus 1 equal to 0. The above equation can be solved numerically at the specified flash pressure and temperature which fixes K. The solution must satisfy the condition. Vf lies between 0 and 1. The component mass balance can be rewritten in terms of Ki and V by F so that Xi can be expressed as Xi equal to Zi divided by 1 plus V by F times Ki minus 1. From this expression, a liquid phase concentration of the component Xi can be calculated. Using the value of Xi, the value of Y is calculated as follows. Y equal to Ki times Xi. Now let me explain the vapor split calculations with an example of multi component liquid feed mixer consisting of ethane, propylene, propane, isobutane, n-butane, isobutene, butadiene, and n-pentane. It is a PT flash separation. The feed is subjected to flash at 25 degrees centigrade at an appropriate pressure. The objective is to calculate the vapor to feed ratio and the resulting concentration of vapor and liquid streams. The feed composition is as given in the table below. The first step is to determine the flash pressure at 25 degrees centigrade so that the vapor liquid equilibrium exists in the tank. At the flash temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, the saturated vapor pressure is calculated using and draw in constants. The values are shown in the table. From the calculated data at the previous table, the bubble pressure and dew pressure are calculated using the equations presented earlier. The calculated bubble pressure is 10.7 bar. 
and the dew pressure is 0.325 bar. The flash pressure has to lie between these two values. Select a flash pressure of 5 bar absolute. Now calculate the k value from the expression for k equal to P squared by P that is flash pressure. The calculated k values are presented in the table. Now use the record rise equation and calculate the vapor split V by F. Using the V by F ratio, k value and feed concentration Z type, you can calculate the liquid composition of the flask liquid stream using the expression given earlier. Illustrated in the figure below is the flask calculations. When the feed is subjected to flash under the stated conditions, it produces 53.14 kmol per hour of vapor, giving a V by F ratio of 73.82%, containing ethane 18%, popylene 6.52%, etc. as shown in the table. The liquid exits the flash tank at 18.86 kmol per hour, containing ethane 2.29%, Protein 2.82% etc. as shown. You would observe the flash has led to removal of large part of the lights such as ethane and propylene and propane in the vapor, whereas relatively heavier components butane, butene, butadiene and pentane concentrates in the bottom liquid. Factors affecting flash separation Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your Spec eLearn channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button now. As discussed before, there are three factors that will affect the flash operation. The flash pressure, PV, flash temperature, TV, and feed composition, Z type. Changes in any of these parameters will affect the quantity of vapor and liquid leaving the separator. In the case of oil wells, the composition of the well head fluid will affect the VF ratio. Similarly, in the case of natural gas liquid NGL, the composition of the NGL feed will affect the quantity of the vapor and liquid produced. This table below shows the fraction of feed vaporized at various pressures at constant flash temperature 25 degrees centigrade. Note that at 4 bar pressure, the, N the feed vaporized V by F is 0.9 and at 10 bar, the V by F is 0.18. Thus, by varying the pressure at constant temperature, you can achieve the desired vaporization rate. These results were obtained with process simulation. The table below shows the vapor split as a function of flash temperature at constant pressure of 5 bar. Note, at 10 degrees centigrade, the fraction of feed vaporized is 0.261, whereas at 35 degrees centigrade, the fraction vaporized is 0.994. Flash operation applications. Typical applications of flash operation include refinery crude fractionation, oil will hit gas oil separation, natural gas sweetening, and glycol dehydration of natural gas. Oil will hit gas oil separation. Crude oil is produced from oil wells. The oil extracted from the well head comes out as a mixture of gas and oil, water, emulsion and also sediments. Depending on the oil source, the pressure of the oil flowing from the wellhead vary. 
a typical well head pressure is 40 to 50 bar at this high pressure the oil comes out of the well as a mixed stream shown in the figure below is the oil gas separation process for the well head oil mixer the oil gas mixer flows through a series of separators each operating at progressively reduced pressures to separate the gas dissolved at high pressure from the oil as shown in the figure. The last stage is a two-phase separator called a flastron where the pressure is reduced to atmospheric pressure of 2 PSAG to boil out the heavy gas components. It is from this separator oil is pumped to the oil storage. Illustrated in the figure below is a crude oil fractionation tower with pre-flash design. The crude oil after desalting is pumped into pre-flash drum where the light components are separated before being heated and sent to the furnace of atmospheric crude fractionation tower. The flashed vapor is sent to the middle section of the same column for further fractionation. This not only reduces the heating load on the preheater but also on the fractionation load in the bottom section of the crude tower. In the natural gas sweetening process tower, the rich amine solution exiting the absorption tower is flashed into a separator to remove hydrocarbons. A small amount of acid gases also flashes at the reduced pressure. The flashed vapors are removed from the top of the separator. Types of flash vessels Two types of flash vessels are used in the industry vertical flash tank and horizontal flash tank. A vertical flash tank design is shown on the right. Vertical tank design is preferred when the liquid to gas ratio L by V is very high. It also requires less floor space. So where there is a space constraints, vertical tank design will be the ideal choice. Shown in this figure below is a horizontal flash tank. It is used in applications where the liquid to gas ratio is low. That is when the gas or vapor produced is very high in relation to the vapor. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.